Hi, this is Mark Meyer from MarTech Hero, and today in this short video, I'm going to show you a tool called PPC Reveal or Pay Per Click Reveal. So, what it is, it's a competitor research tool that reveals your competitor's Google ad strategy with their exact ad copy, their ad schedule, and their buy frequency. So, this is a great tool if you work at an agency or you're a consultant or a media buyer or if you just run your own ads and just want to stay ahead of your competition. I should start by saying that I'm not affiliated with PPC Reveal at all, so I don't get any commission or anything if you purchase the product. I'm just a fan of the tool, so thought I would share it with others. So I'm gonna bounce over to my account of PPC Reveal, and we're gonna do something called Start a Reveal. So we're gonna just walk through this process, which is super simple. So first, I'm gonna give this a reveal name. And in this demonstration, we're going to see all the competitors that are in the email marketing tools uh, arena. So we're going to see who's bidding on like keyword terms related to email marketing platforms or tools. So for the reveal name, I'll just call it email marketing. And then the status we're going to have is active United States. The location, if you want to drill it down, I'm in the Chicago area. So I'm going to say Chicago, Illinois. We'll have it checked for both uh, devices, desktop and mobile. Then how often do you want this to run? We're going to say every two hours. So every two hours, this tool is going to go out and check the keywords that we're going to enter below and see what ads are being surfaced for those keywords. Next, it says, how long do we want to run this campaign? Um, we're going to do it two weeks. We're going to have this run every two hours for two weeks. And then down here, it says keywords. We can put up to five, one keyword per line. So I'm going to paste in some keywords. And there we have them. It's email marketing, email platforms, email tools, mass email service, and mailing list. And then uh, we can add a note here that's just for our own in-house use. I don't need that. And I'm just going to hit the Start Reveal button. Okay, for better demonstration purposes, I let that run for a while um, so I could show you some data. So now we're back on our dashboard, and we can see this reveal name we created previously called Email Marketing. So I'm going to just click on this, and we're going to take a deep dive into all the reports it shows us. So on this first tab, the summary tab, it shows us that it found quite a few competitors, 152, and a lot of different ads, 1,735 ads. So if we click over to this advertisers tab, it'll show us every advertiser that was advertising with at least one of those keywords that we put in. So of course, there's like the big players, MailChimp, uh, SendGrid, and on and on. Uh, so you can see all the advertisers down here um, that are advertising for their keywords. It also tells us how many of our keywords, we entered five keywords, how many are each advertiser bidding on. So MailChimp is actually bidding on all the same keywords we used. Um, and this one is only doing four, three, you know, and so on and so forth. And then it tells us the number of ads. Uh, advertiser visibility, how often do people actually see these ads, the average ad position. So a lot of data just on this one screen of the advertisers. Next, I'm going to click on the ad copy screen. And on this screen, uh, it actually shows us each specific ad run by all of those advertisers. So you could scroll through here and get ideas on what other people are doing and how you might want to change your ad. So not only does it give you the full ad that's being run, it tells you the keyword that triggered the ad, the visibility percentage, and it just gives you even like the expanded ads like this one down here. It shows you all, all of the ad details that you need to know. So this is a lot of information, but you can actually drill down. So on the filters, I could actually say, just show me the MailChimp ads. And I could also pick a certain location or just certain keywords, or just mobile or desktop. Um, but we'll just say MailChimp, so we'll filter. So now this is only showing us the MailChimp ads. So we could see that just MailChimp has a lot of different uh, variations of ads. 
Next, we'll click this Add Schedule tab. And this shows you at, at each uh, time the report is run. And if you remember, I selected it's going to be run every two hours. That's why it's like 1 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m. So it's running every two hours. Of course, if you selected every hour, it would, you know, every box would be filled in. But then on each of them, you can see how many ads were running at each of those times. So you can kind of get an idea um, when your competitors are running their ads. And once again, I could select uh, certain advertisers. I can only select like, um, you know, when is SendGrid running their ads? And as you can see, uh, it shows you like they sometimes take these little breaks. Um, you can sh show exactly when their ads are running. The next tab is keywords. So I'm going to click on that. So as you can see on this keywords tab, you can see all the keywords we entered when we first set up this reveal. And it tells us how many advertisers are advertising for each keyword. So the keyword email marketing, uh, this tool found 80 different advertisers uh, advertising based on that keyword and then email platforms 48 and so on and so forth and email tools only 32 different companies are advertising for the keyword email tools so you could start to like look into this more and figure out maybe some keywords that uh long tail keywords that the competitors aren't advertising for and you can capitalize on and then down here it's the same thing it just gives it to you in uh, more of a table format versus a uh, chart format. In any of these reports, you could click on these keywords PDF export. And as you can see, it comes up and it just gives you a nice uh, PDF of that report. And you could do that with any report. One thing you might have noticed is it says MarTech Hero right there and up here in the upper left. Um, normally that says PPC reveal. It's their just logo. But you can go into my account uh, settings and then down here, you can actually change the logo to your own company. So with this tool, you could brand it as your company instead of having uh, the PPC reveal logo up there. So as you can see, it's a very powerful tool. And as I mentioned before, each reveal, you could have up to five keywords. But that doesn't hold you back because I could have a reveal called email marketing one and have five keywords and then create another one called email marketing two and have another five keywords and so on and so forth. So like I said, I'm not affiliated with them at all, so I don't get any kind of commission, but I just wanted to show you what their pricing model is. So if we bounce back over to their website and I click on pricing, they basically have uh, three different plans, the basic plus or pro. And the only difference between these is the number of credits uh, that they give you per month. You know, the $59 a month will give you 5,000 reveal units. Uh, the next step, 10,000, then 25,000. So if we step back over here, um, this report has been running for a couple of weeks. And uh, when you first set this up, it also tells you, but it'll tell you how many units you used. So just to give you an example, this email marketing with five keywords run every two hours for two weeks. Um, I only have one day left, but I've used 2,475 credits. Uh, so if you want to save some credits, you could change the duration. You can have this be one week instead of two weeks. You could have the reveal run once every maybe six hours instead of every two hours. Uh, you could do things like that to save some of your credits. Um, I'm not a power user of this. I do use this, uh, you know, for different things throughout the month, but I have the lowest plan. I've never uh, had any problems with the 5,000 credits. So anyway, that's about it for PPC reveal. Like I said, it really helps you optimize your ads, unlock more opportunities for growth, whether it's like tweaking your own ad schedule or mixing certain keywords, or you can give you clues on how you can completely redo your ad copy. But if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll be happy to help you out. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.